Hello. In this hands-on video, we will have look at how we can verify the electronic signature on a signed document. To do this, we will use the same files that we created in the video on creation of an electronic document, that is, two files, signed.zip and a contract template that is signed, one on the site edoc link, the other on the site id.gov.ua. In this video to test we will use the edoc link site. Accordingly, it has a signature validation section. I want to dwell separately on this section, since the tools used on the EDOC link site are tools localized from a project funded by the European Commission. This project is called Digital Signature Services, and its purpose is to develop open source, open license software, that is, the software can be used as for commercial so for non-commercial purposes, and this software fully implements all European standards, including standards for electronic signature verification. The only change that was made by the developers of the EDOC link site to this software was the change in adding the trust list of Ukraine. On the screen we see respectively the European Commission's website and the English demo version of this product. And in the Trusted Lists section, in English, the Trusted List. If we look at the list of countries, all EU member states are present here and Ukraine is absent as a member of the list of trust lists. Therefore, if we try to access the signature verification service and upload the signed document, we will get an error message that tells us that the provider who provided us with an electronic digital signature is absent in the trust lists in frames of this software. Respectively, the software cannot say, no, or, yes, about the validity, correctness of the digital signature. So let's get back to the EDOC. Link site. As we can see, this is the same software interface, in the Trusted Lists section, Ukraine is already present with four providers of electronic trust services. I also want to explain why four, because if you go to the Central Certification Authority that maintains these registers and go to the Certificate Register section, you will see the 21 provider of electronic trust services. But there are two registries in the Trust Lists section of the Central Certification Authority. One, based on European standards, the other, based on Ukrainian standards. And just these four e trust providers that are present on EDOC link are the providers that provide their services using EU standards. These are four providers, the Ministry of Justice which actually performs the technical functions. It provides certificates to other providers that provide services for end users. This is the state enterprise, NAIS. It is the Ministry of Defense and the Ukrainian Railways. That is, in fact, by European standards, we have only three providers, the state enterprise, NAIS, the Ministry of Defense and the Ukrainian Railways. The availability of this register, the trust list, allows EDOC link software provide the full signature check, that is, if we go to the validate section, select the same signed.zip file, we get the result of full validation, which gives us the opportunity make sure that the document is completely checked. In this video, we will demonstrate how to verify an electronic digital signature on a document using the id.gov.ua portal maintained by the e-government agency. The id.gov.ua portal at the bottom of the page there is a file checker section, and it is quite simple. You can select a file, download a file that we have signed, and here you will receive a green sign, verified successfully. An important part of understanding of the work with an electronic document is that it is an analog to a paper document. That is, any person or organization cannot require a specific its own electronic document, an electronic document created on the EDOC 
Link portal, for example let's sign once again the template of our contract. It is checked both on the European Commission website and on the agency's website from the electronic government, because this component ensures the standardization of submission and signatures and documents, regardless of the manufacturer, providing competition on the one hand, and high-quality software development on the other. Now we have received the signed file 3. We carry out its verification on the site EDOC. Link. Here we see that the verification was completely successful. The signatory is Andrei Meloshenko, and we will check the same document on the cited.gov.ua. Here the verification is also successful. The same signatory and signature date coincide accordingly. And to understand critically the common software functioning that declares compliance to standards. In this case, European. Thank you.